Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we are taking a look at probably one of my only non-Chase Elliott... Well, I got a couple others, but one of my uh, only non-Chase Elliott non-raced wins. So I got a lot of race wins, got a lot of Chase Elliott cars, Noah Gregson, those guys. But this is a little different. This is Kimi Raikkonen, or I, I think that's how it's said, is Raikkonen. I, here's the, here, here, you read it, and you tell me. Not Den, Raikkonen. It's N-E-N. Oops, I thought there was a D. Raikkonen. Anyway, F1 champion. Uh, came over to NASCAR, ran Watkins Glen in 2022. Came back again this year to run Coda in 2023. And here's the thing. This year, he ran this car. So last year, he ran a track house car that looked okay. This time, he ran this absolute banger paint scheme. So we're going to take a look at our box real quick, though. NASCAR 75th anniversary, 1948 to 2023. Uh, production number 316 on this one. It is the ONX Homes uh, 2023 Camaro for Kimi Raikkonen. And um, it is the Elite Box for 2023. So everything looks pretty standard there. Um, I'm going to set that over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at this car because we've seen this before twice, both times with track house cars winning their first race. We saw it with Ross Chastain. His had a chrome number. We saw it with Daniel Suarez. He had yellow numbers. And now we get it with Kimi Raikkonen in metallic red and red numbers and i'm telling you this thing is fire so first things first we have the shards uh kind of color scheme coming back you can see it's a matte black and a matte gray combination uh here on the side you can see kind of the little shards but it's matte black here then you got the matte red and the matte gray uh we got onxhomes.com oh look at that red man i love the way this car looks honestly how, how do you even like race this car and not try to hit something i mean you don't want to get this car dirty. It looks incredible, you know? What is that? Weird. A little error spot there. But uh, anyway, on the front here, you can see we've got ONX Homes. You can see um, we've got those shards again. Matte black right here on these two stripes, and then one stripe across the top with the shards again. Here on the right front corner, you can see the uh, the black and gray shards again. we got our number 91. we got ONX Homes. You can see we've got I-L-O-Q, whatever that is. I have no idea. Trackhouse logo there. We do have the correct spoiler height. That's pretty cool. They have their correct spoiler height back here, along with the two rookie stripes, uh, which is kind of interesting considering he is an F1 champion, but he's a rookie in NASCAR. So fuel cell uh, back there, DIN number 13, does have the opening roof flaps here. Um, but overall, this is just, oh man, the metallic red, the shards, the matte black color. This is probably one of, if not my absolute favorite paint schemes of all time, by the way. This is not like a kind of right now, this is like an all-time favorite. I love... Kane's 07 Mopar car. I love his Pepsi Max car from 2013, 2014. Um, but I'm telling you, this car right here might be one of the best objective paint schemes I have ever seen. Um, because it's not this not, you know, building off nostalgia. It's not using anything that way. Um, obviously the number not being centered is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I would love to have seen it centered because I'm guessing this thing would have been an absolute banger car. But um this is probably by far my favorite in the next gen era, but I, like I said before, it, it may be my favorite uh, my favorite paint scheme of all time. And had we not screwed up the numbers, it, it almost certainly probably would have been there. So uh, an absolutely awesome looking car. I actually did get these in. I didn't normal. I don't like I said. I only stock race ones on my website. This one I thought was too cool to pass up. I have it um, not on the website, but it's on the eBay page. So if you're looking for a new ARC or Elite of this car, I do have them on the eBay page. Or I will have them on the eBay page. Probably won't be up by the time this video comes out uh, because I'm listing it right away. But, um, yeah, this thing's absolutely awesome. So if you're a fan and you want to get a Kimi Raikkonen car because it's just kind of cool to have an F1 champ come back and come over and run NASCAR, um, you know, you got last year's car, but I think this is absolutely the car to get. This car looks so darn cool. So I highly recommend it. Absolutely one of my favorites. I'm keeping one of these for sure. Um but yeah, anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on this car in the comments below. Let me know if it's what your favorite all-time paint scheme is down there, and we can have a nice discussion in that. Other than that though, this has been Race Craze. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.